Hello and welcome back to Sadie's Spincraft. This is part two of how to spin on a budget. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up as you start watching. So today we are turning scrap yarn into fibre to re-spin. So take your scrap yarn and cut it into tiny little pieces. Just like this. So grab it. Whatever length you want. Oh, I've not them. And chop it. Chop it. Chop it. See, I'm not bothered whether I have just one colour or multi colours. So I'm gonna take my dog brush. As easy as that, dog brush. And we're just gonna place scrap yarn onto the dog brush. Oh. It's better to have it laid like that because then you can start brushing out the bottom bits first. So you don't want to put too much on because otherwise it gets a bit funky. So all we're going to do is just card out the ends. They are going to come off. We are going to fly it out. But as you see, it starts to go all fluffy. So then, turn over. And we go through again. And you do that until you think it's ready. Me, because I don't mind spinning a bit of art yarn and because we're only learning it doesn't really matter what it looks like so I'll take that off and let's do some blue yeah we'll put a yellow one in there as well why not So there's some more. Don't have to look pretty. Like I said, just start carding it out on your inexpensive dog brushes that you get from the pound shop or if you're in America, your dollar store. Don't need to spend thousands or hundreds or tens on money to check to see if you like some up. So I'll do this a third time. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. More more fibres from scrap yarn. So I'll let you go and build your lovely fibres and I will be back for part three, which will be how to spin. Sorry about that, I've got fibre there, there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I do apologise about that. Um, yes, part three is how to spin your fibre, which you've made out of your scrap yarn. And we'll do that on your drop spindle. I've already started, look. Pretty colours. Going all the way through. It's not perfect. It won't be perfect because your scrap yarn isn't perfect. It's going to have neps and all sorts in it. So it will be lumpy, it will be bumpy and it will not be perfect. But to practice and to find out if you like it before you go out and spend all this money, I think it's a fantastic way to try. So thank you ever so much again for stopping by. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. 
See you all again soon.